don't know what to say. Um, <laughs> I don't know who wants to go first and dissect, you know, the, the, you know what happened in that game. Um, you know, I think, I'm, I'm still tr- trying to take it in. Um, but, yeah, I mean, who, who wants to go first? I think Ems. I think I'll let Ems go first. Yeah. <laughs> you know, right, you know what? Over you know to you, what? yeah. Go on. Do you know what? Yeah, I'm not even surprised, you know. This has been coming since Southampton, yeah? Since Southampton, yeah? Like, he, for me, oli has got no excuse because we're seeing at other clubs, Carlo Ancelotti, he's had less less time with the Everton players. And you can see the style of play and coaching. Do you know what I'm saying? So, for me, I think this stops with the the manager because clearly... We both know, you know, I know, Pogba should be playing defensive mid. We all know this. Uh-uh. Like, so obviously he's getting the tactics wrong, like the formation, all of it. And, bro, we spent 200 million on that back line. Uh. Two, over 200 million, you know. That's not chicken change, you know. That's a lot of money. That's why when people tell me, oh, the board this, the board that, what more do you want? They've given all these managers money. No, like, I'm not having that. Do you know what I'm saying? Uh, now, irrespective, obviously, irrespective of obviously what the board have done and how much money has been spent, but like today, yeah, like what went wrong today? I just think black like, comedy of errors, you know, like Harry Maguire. Like, what's that head of me? What, what is that? And then man's trying to man's trying to be do rest like Irish whip with his cent- with his um, left back. But he 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 brought he brought Shaw down, bro. I'm getting PTSD even thinking about it. That's, that's how mad it is. Man. It's Irish whip, bro. Man trying to hold him like wrestling against the flipping the ropes, bro. That's what yeah. he done. That's Sam, what he done. Yeah, yeah do you yeah, know? I'll, what, yeah. I'll, 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 I'll come to you. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you yeah. know, that's fair. <laughs> your assessment. Your assessment. Okay. Um, I think today was it was atrocious. It was. It was it was terrible, but the thing is, it's been coming. It's it's been there's been signs that it's been coming, and yeah. I think I think for, for me, I think just Evra summed it up perfectly. I, I feel like I'm not trying to single out any player because ultimately football is a team sport, isn't it? And yeah. when when there's stuff like that happens, you have to look at yourself as a team. However, mm-hmm. the, I'm gonna I'm I'm sorry to have to use him, but actually I'm not sorry. I have to use him. Harry Maguire, the most expensive defender in the world, eighty million, the captain of the club. He has been atrocious for, I don't like to say, I, I feel like, say, for the last five months, five, six months, he's uh-huh. not been upstanding. However, how does he keep starting games? I, it, it, it really baffles me. I and mean, you know what? Me, Before, uh, sorry, sorry to cut you off here, it makes you, it makes you ask the question, is it, is it him or Lindelof that was a problem? That's Dude, that's it. it makes you ask that question. I, I don't know. <laughs> no, I just, sorry to yeah, go on, I just, yeah, think it, I just think it's, I just think it's English privilege and his price tag. Because for me, all I keep hearing from his commentators are partner for Maguire, partner for Maguire. So how many centre backs are we going to go through before we think, you know what? It's not that centre back. It's Harry Maguire's, um, Harry Maguire's the reason why we're leaking these goals. Uh-huh. We've really, we've really conceded what eleven goals in three games. Is that right? Huh? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. That sounds yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. yeah. Six, like, another yeah, it's, thing about the hair's fool, by the way. So, another thing about the hair's by the way. Exactly. No, and, no. Thing, and you know, from what I saw today, I, I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll give my little assessment before we, you know, start discussing about more things. Um, you know, it started with obviously the Maguire mistake. Like you said, he wrestled Luke Shaw onto the floor after <laughs> his poor attempt of a header. Um, well, this is this is. Uh, this is our £80 million centre-back, um, our commanding centre-back, our captain. Um, I mean, you know, Gary Neville even said it on commentary, he hasn't started the season well, but I mean, he hasn't been great even before this season. And then, you know, even for, was it was it the second or the third goal where he didn't stand on the ball? Second. Was I think the second, second one, isn't it? The second, second one, yeah. The second the second one. One. That's your captain. So pro- as a professional footballer, what you do is you stand on the ball, right? And and yeah. you, you stop the play, or you pick up the ball, you run with it, and you chuck it, you chuck it back, just to stop any 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 danger. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And 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 that's someone that that has got sense. Do you know what I'm saying? Who who read can who can read the game? Do you know what I mean? And yeah. for me, they just did not, or he did not read the game. And for me, he he started the problem. 
and he's our captain. And I remember in our group chat, we was talking, we was talking today about who should be who should be captain. Who should be captain? Yeah. yeah. And then and then some people say, well, there was no option to uh, apart from Maguire. But for me, De Gea, yeah, has obviously been hasn't been great in the last few seasons, but consistently his performances over the last seven years have warranted for me him being captain. Just because he doesn't shout doesn't it doesn't mean he doesn't warrant him being the captain. Now we've got a defender. Who's, who costs eighty million pounds? Who's making mistakes week in week out? Yeah. Okay. Can I say? Can I ask you a question? Yeah. Go At on. the start of last season, mm. wasn't De Gea leading the troops out though? As yeah, he was. He was. Do, do you know? What, um, I'm sorry to. Uh, sorry yeah, to go on, go on. Yeah, yeah. Go on. You know what it is for me, uh, uh, Ms. And, and Shings? It's like yeah. it's a thing where like, okay, so we buy this guy for eighty million. The price tag, we all know that's a shambles. But you know, what? let's we move in it. We move. It's been done. It's done already. Mm. He comes to the club. To all this um, adulation, not from the fans. I don't think it came from the fans. I no, think I it's been media. It's been media run. Mm-hmm. It's been the oh yeah, I remember guy or this and that comes to the club and and Solskjaer gives him the keys to the club. Like, listen, you're the captain. What, what yeah. does that say to him? Where, where, where's the where's the pride in coming to United? You have to work. You have to earn it. He hasn't uh-huh. earned anything. It's it's, exactly. it's been his price tag. It's literally been his price tag, and they've given him the keys to the kingdom. Oh, you can do this, you can do that. What what is going on? Where is where is the culture? Where is the culture's gone from my night? It yeah. is gone. Yeah, it's, it's can, gone. It's can, sorry, can, 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 can I say something? Right? Yeah, go on. Am I not mistaken that this is the same setup that Josie Mourinho wanted the season before? Yeah, yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah, so imagine we would have got him that season. It still more or less would have been the same. Situation probably true, but one thing I would say about Jose is I, I I don't think Jose would give him the keys to the kingdom like that. No, no, I wouldn't think so. He no, no, he no I don't think Jose that. would. Yeah, jo- Jose, would, Jose, would, Jose would obviously he would give him a chance. He would start him. He would want him and he would play him. But I think that Jose would be more. I don't know. Social just looks like he babies him. I, or maybe I don't know. I'm not privy yeah. to what goes on the training ground. But it looks like there's a. I don't think Social ever says anything to him, anything critical. He's almost like, however happens, he knows he's going to start the next game. However bad he gets, he knows he's going to start the next game. And I love the way Ever put it. Ever was like, oh, um, Gary never was saying, oh, he needs a break. He needs to go think. I mean, fuck that. I mean, pardon me. <laughs> <sir>, apologize. <laughs> apologize. <laughs> apologize. It's like, Ever was right. Ever was like, why? 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 why do we keep, when are we going to start looking at Maguire like he's the problem? Mm-hmm. Not stop making excuses for him. Mm-hmm. All these things. That's what I mean by there's there's a clamor for him. It's very they're very when it comes to him. Oh yeah, he's not been really good for the last three games. No, it's not the last three games. He's been atrocious for the last. I feel like saying since March, bro, or since mm-hmm. after the lockdown, he's been terrible. And, and if like, we if we look at the fourth goal, if we look at the fourth goal that we conceded today, yeah. Sure. Is that when he? Is that when he? Was, is that when he? Yeah, 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 yeah. Maguire, Maguire left his position, he went to left back, and then Shaw, Shaw had to try and come. Shaw had to try and cover in at, at yeah, centre. Yeah, yeah. That was yeah. embarrassing. That was that. Yeah. That was embarrassing. How can your your defence be so disjointed like that? It doesn't make any sense. And that's your centre back. Why why are you going out to the left back position? Command your defence. So team got even even there was even another chance. I don't think they scored from it. He followed Harry Kane all the way to midfield. Harry Kane turned oh, and saw that. Ball to some, yeah. oh, and I was like, "Why are you going? Where, where is his football? Oh God, where's so his thought? <laughs> where's his thought process? I know, and it, it's it's difficult to have like kind of like a rational conversation after a defeat like that. It's it's so hard. Like, I, I, you know, I, I I I don't know where to start. Do you know what I mean? I can't direct this conversation because. So, 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 we've, so, we've, so, we've just seen bullshit on the pitch. Fine. It's, yeah, it's, sometimes, it's, oh, sorry, yeah. Ems. Go on, go on, Ems. Go oh, on, Ems. Sorry, go on. Sometimes I just think, did we buy the wrong centre back? Yeah. It's looking, yeah like it. it's looking like it. We've we just got Johnny Evans back. I don't know why we sold that guy in the first place. In the first place, no. Yeah. It's, it's, you know I mean? we, got sir, we got we got certain man like Phil Jones on 100 grand a week, just, just, just chilling, playing in the medical room. So for me, I don't know. I don't want to put all the blame on Harry Maguire because no, right, no, me, no, he's not. For me, for, for, for me, the left back area. I'm sorry, me. I don't know what you don't think. Like, I tried to give short, you know, benefit of doubt, but I think how how how, how many times we're gonna keep saying about his broken leg, his broken leg. Like, come on, he's in his. his I'm not mistaken. Is it his seventh season or is it sixth season? He came in 2014, right? 
2016, because I think it's Six, six, six. I think it's six. Yeah, it's 2014. It's six season. Yeah, it's six season. Yeah. Oh, it's six season. So are we going to yeah, keep using that season. mistake he broke his leg? No, no. Sorry, I'm not being rude, man. United are not a charity. It's the business. <laughs> no, it's, I'm not lying. I'm, I, I'm lying. No, it's the business. Right, stuff. You're, you're right, man. I mean, obviously, right, for, I, me, I, I huh? as rude no, as for me, as rude as for me, no, I, I get what you're saying. Obviously, I, I think, like, obviously, I always say, yeah, Sean needs to be cut some slack. But yeah, he, has no, he, has, he has no cover. Like, for me, I, I wouldn't mind if, like, there was somebody else that was ahead of him and then he'd be a backup. Because I think Shaw does yeah, a decent, He can do a decent job, in it. Yeah. But, obviously, yeah. he's not going to be one that propel us to the heights that we need to to, to, to get to. Obviously, like, that injury, it, it, it messed him up completely. Yeah, it did, did, did. So It's it twice now, I swear. It's not twice. He's no, he's had one broken leg and he's always had, like... Obviously, I think when he's he a fractured injury, ankle... Yeah. And a fractured yeah, ankle come, or something yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. When you come back... Sorry, no, I was gonna ask you. Yeah, I was gonna ask you about what you thought about how Solskjaer managed yeah, the game after we went down to 10 men. Because for me, like, I, I thought it was an absolute disgrace. You know, a lot of teams, a lot, there's a saying in football whereby they, uh, you know, a lot of people say that it's harder to play against 10 men, um, yeah. because of the way teams they, they, they will set up, um. Yeah. You know, and they'll be more compact and, and try to hit you on the counter attack. For me, you know, it, it was schoolboy stuff. It just looked like we were so so much more exposed. There was no tactics. And I thought to myself, you know, this is this is the time where Solskjaer can actually say to, you know, try and show his tactical nous. He didn't show that. Do, do you know what? Uh, in addition to that, I feel like, I think today was, I mean, I've been saying this, but I feel like today was something that's been a long time coming in it. It's, it this, it's been coming. You could see it coming in it. It was just a matter of time and it was about who would have done it to us. I didn't think it would have been a Spurs. I think maybe a, a Liverpool would probably have done something like that to us. But you know what? I feel for me, it's like after Marshall got sent off, two, two goals and two mistakes, I, the players' heads dropped. Yeah. I feel like they lost belief. They, I think they lost fight. I, oh. I, I didn't think they wanted to be there. And God. I feel like Solskjaer, he made, he brought McTominay and Fred. Yeah, cool. You know, he's trying to, in his head, he's trying to uh, limit the, 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 the damage the that's going to be done to the team. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and it was like, it just, it didn't change anything. I feel like these guys are coming on. Yeah, they're going to come. Fred, I'm sorry to say, you guys often talk about Fred as thing. Well, all Fred does is run around. I'm sorry, I don't see what's anything special about it. And the thing is, they come in, put an effort. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But no one is using their head. No one is yeah. thinking. There's no communication. Yeah. There's no leadership. You can run around. We're running the headless chickens trying to do this. Um, Fog was one. I, I don't even blame him. He could have done, he should have done better. But he, I'm thinking in his head, he's thinking, I don't want to be here. I don't want to be in this position. I don't have yeah. to be tracking back or read the right back. And it's a thing yeah. where, like, it, it's just, for me, the only person that looks like he was trying today and is the hair, even though he considered six. He actually looked like he, he was, he, he, he could tell he was hurting him. The rest oh, cool. of them, I, I don't know. Bruno, Bruno, Bruno tried to, but after a while, obviously he wasn't getting service. The, the, the sending see, see, just... in, in, in a game like that, in a game like that, you don't want Bruno because obviously Bruno, he likes to take risks and obviously he's going yeah. to lose the ball. Yeah. I'd rather have Mata. Because Mata will be able to take care of the ball. Do you know what I'm saying? You, 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 to, you want to get that ball. ball. You go on Ems, go on Ems. Can, can I ask you a question? Do you know what? All these substitutions, yeah? I can't criticise them. I understand why he's done that, yeah? But I don't know. I think it was too late. Know. Yeah, it was too late. Yeah, yeah, it was too late. We'll see what, was his, what was his instructions, though? I don't. I feel like it's just on the gun of freestyle. Like, I know I keep saying this, <laughs> but like... I just don't. Like, I just don't see anything. Like I just. I don't know. They, what do they do in training? I feel like this wake up in the morning, and it's just guys do what you want in training. I don't. No. Yeah. Like, I think. Yeah. I think they do like basic drills. But, yeah. Like, do the rondos. Yeah, well, but there's that. no. There's no. There's no emphasis on trying to employ like a style of play. Like, do you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't. Yeah. See, I don't see. And the thing is, yeah. Um, we can talk about the, like the style of play, but obviously that was gone after we went down to ten men. For me, it's it's, it's the in-game management which pissed me off. Yeah, is the fact that basically I know for a fact if if Jose was in in our dugout, obviously it didn't end well with him at Man United. But if, yeah, like if that was a Jose or or, or Pep Guardiola or, or I can't Clock even or say or I can't even say Conte. Conte. Clock no, 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 <laughs> Conte or Conte, Conte. somewhere like. That. Bro. Oh, Conte, because, yeah, obviously, let me just say, because Liverpool lost 7-2, you, yeah, you pricks. But anyway. Um, oh, they, they, 
O Diego, o Diego Simeone. Yeah, yeah. Basically, <laughs> they, will, they, they will set up shop, yeah, in a, in a way whereby they're not going to concede more goals or, like, they're going to ensure that it's not going to get any worse. It's damage limitations. Look, we can't win this game, but we're going to go out fighting and we're not going to concede more goals. Well, Solskjaer, it was just like, well, boom. you know, the floodgates are open. If you want to do your thing, do your thing. Yeah, it's, it, it, I, I think, yeah, it, you're right. I think when you talk about his his tactical analysis, I mean, it's not daring. It's, I think for me, what even hurts me is, I know obviously after the sending off, things change in it, but let's go back to before the sending off in it. Oh. Um, yeah, I, he, he can't legislate for the mistake that Maguire would have made. Though. No, you can't. But he, but, but he can kind of legislate because Maguire has been making his mistakes. And why you still keep putting him in the team, we never know. But cool, let's let's give him the benefit of the doubt. For me, why does he keep it? Why does he? Why is he very rigid with this four two three one formation? Why are you not? <laughs> why don't you switch it up? Do something different. It's the same team. It's the same formation every time. Why you got Van der Beek there? What's going on? The guy has not started three games. Do, does, do you not want him? Do we, did you not ask for him? What is going on with the club? And I know it's, it's social. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saving from any corn he's going to get. But this just, this is just symptomatic of the club, bro. There's no culture. There's no planning. It, it just, what are they doing? What are they doing on the footballing side? I really, I really uh, love to know. I, I have not. Can, can, can I ask you guys a question? Can I ask you guys a question, right? How do you feel about your manager after the game we lose and man smiling at all these players? Like, how do you feel about that and interviews? Yeah, to, and that? To, to be fair, Ems, I, I won't lie to you. Uh, I, you know, I can allow maybe, obviously, in, in the dressing room, if he's smiling in the dressing room, I have a problem in it. Obviously, in, when it comes to immediate interviews and that, people won't, you know, you wouldn't want to kill your players in public, innit? Because you lose them, innit? So I can understand. The smiling part, I, I don't pay too much attention to it. What I want to know is, not what I want to see is, I mean, that's a bad, you said it, you said it, you alluded to the shinks, is we've got two weeks now, there's an international break, so there isn't any game to, to, there's no, the next game's not for another two weeks. But it's a thing where, like, in the next game we play, I want to, uh, bro, I want to see these men run and faint on the, I, I want to see someone fainting on the pitch, bro. I, that's why I want to see someone fainting on the pitch, bro. I don't want to see no no one coming up, walking. No, I want to see you guys run to your sweating blood because uh-huh. you're, you're, you're playing for Manchester United. This is, this is a great honour. Don't, don't, this is one of, this is the most successful club or in, in league terms in, in, in the country. And yeah. it's not, you're not playing for any Tom, Dick or Harry. So you should be playing for the shirt. You should be proud to wear this. There are there people that will kill for this position and this opportunity. Well, I'm just, I'm I'm just just yeah, and to and to and to, 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 to go back to your your, your point, Sims. Um, the Gary Neville said there was there was a point in the game. I think it, it came like what I think in like the 70th minute where like there was challenges were getting a bit niggly and yeah, 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 yeah. It was getting spicy. And, yeah, and then, yeah. And Gary Neville was like, well, yeah, the players are starting to show fight, but it's a bit too late. Should have happened like 55 minutes ago. Do you know what I mean? So. You know, it, it's, it's difficult to try and dissect what, what went on in, in today's game. But like you said, like when we when when we come back from the international break, it's not going to be easy because we got Newcastle oh. away, we have got PSG away, and then we got Chelsea. And I believe after that we got League Cup and then Arsenal. I believe yeah. I'm pretty sure we ended we end this we end the the, the the month playing Arsenal. Yeah, and we haven't so got we haven't got no Martial. We've got no Martial for three games. Is it going to be a free team, free game suspension? Yeah, yeah. Unless, unless, unless it's reviewed. But obviously, by then, obviously, it looks like Cavani's going to start up front. So. <laughs> no, not, well, who knows, who knows where he's going to be? It might be a gala up front. So, what's your, <laughs> what's your views on the red card, if you don't mind me asking? Okay, okay. For me, I'm going to add to you. Uh, as soon as I said about Latin, I think he's right. Uh, do you think it's... Lamella's a, is, he's a dick, in it? I won't I don't like the view. And if I was, if it's one of those guys that if I played against, I'd look to slap him up at every minute because he knows what he's doing. But Martial fell into the trap, in it? That's why it happens. This happens a lot in La Liga. It happens in Serie A. This, co- this, this players do that a lot. They, they, it's gamesmanship, in it? That's yeah, yeah. why I call it. It's gamesmanship, in it? Oh, and it happens. Right. And I think, obviously, the well... I think the referee should have looked at the monitor to, to make like to, to revise his decision. Have a look at the decision and think, okay, is it a red card or not? But he didn't decide to look at the monitor. But by the letter of the law, I guess he is a red. Then it is a red. By the letter of the law, yeah, it's a red. But if there's a if there's a referee on that pitch that's going to be using sense and understands the game, 
yeah, he's gonna he's gonna book he's gonna book them both, and he's gonna he's gonna have a word with them both and say any yeah yeah true true anymore, yeah any more any more then then you're off in it because basically yeah. that red card killed the game. But like yeah. I don't want to I don't want to look at the red card as a defining moment of the game because yeah. there was a lot there was a lot wrong before yeah before the red card yep before the red card because they was getting they was getting at us. Son and Kane were causing us hundreds of problems. In it, you know it, it was it was horrible to watch and you know it was like schoolboy stuff. School. Oh my god, bro! Um, <laughs> you know, and obviously after after the after the red card, and you know the rest is history. Where uh, it's, it, it was, it's, it's it's hurtful, man. And I can see it in your faces as well, in my face. Uh, like, I'm, 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 I'm just. I, I feel like it's it's, it's been a long time. I, I cannot be saying it, but it's more if it's like. Okay, new manager. Every manager's come with defenders. Mourinho's from Lindelof. I mean, Lindelof's from Mourinho. Baez from Mourinho. Shaw's yeah. from Van Gaal. Uh, Juan Bissaka is from Solskjaer. Uh, oh. Maguire's from Solskjaer. Oh. Every, every, different Baez. managers have their own defenders. Yeah, Baez, he, 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 didn't, he didn't cover himself in glory. And, it's a yeah, mix, yeah, yeah, he didn't cover himself in glory. But it's a thing where, like, this is, and this is, brings me back to the ultimate and the biggest question I have. And I've said this to you several times, Shings. Where is the footballing plan? Because each manager's bring their elements of things and the other manager might come and he might not like it. But this time, you've tied on these players to long-term contracts, big money, it's hard for them to sell. What, who's making decisions? Who's, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm tired. I'm tired of talking about this. I, I say this all the time. I'm tired. I'm tired. Because I, I, I can sit here and say, you know, I want, I want Pochettino, you know what I mean? And... and you know, he could come in and he could he could face the same issues that you know other managers have faced. Like it's, yeah, the same, it's the same cycle. We're seeing the same shit. All, all over every every it's, it's like every three years. It happens to be every three years. Every three years. So we, this we, we, we we know we know that obviously uh, what, what we believe and, and we comment on the fact that Solskjaer he's not tactically he's not tacti- tactically there. We get rid of him by bringing like I said, bringing Pochettino. It may be the same situation. But can oh. I say? Can yeah, I say? Them? If we if we get him all the players you want, that so what we're trying to say is now if we buy every single like good player, yeah, and man and he does bits with these players, is that due to is it down to him or the players? Do you know what I'm saying? Like you like, I, I don't have the answers anymore. It's been seven years and we've had like what we've had like what is this? This is our fourth manager, our fourth coach. Do you know what yeah. I'm saying? But, Oh, I've coached him seven years. Yeah. Do you do you know what? Uh, 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 it's not. Yeah. It, it, this is what I think. This is this is what this is what it looks like. It happens, and we get a new coach. New coach comes in the first About. six months to a year. We do good, or we think from the second season he wants to get rid of elements that he doesn't want and bring in bring in his own player. However, the board fell in with that. They may maybe bring one or two players that he wants, but he can't get rid of the other players that the other managers have had because, like I said, these guys are on good contracts. No one wants them because they washed and, and and so on and so forth. The third season comes, it's even worse. He, the manager becomes angry, disappointed, disillusioned with the board, and it's, yeah. and then the results go bad. It's the same thing. And then and so if this is if this is the problem, then surely the logical thing to be would be whoever is the, the Glazers would do it. Okay, Woodward, I'm not a football man. How about I get a sporting director? Look, and I'm going to use this, people, this team as an example mm-hmm. because when I say this, when I speak about this team in our group chat anyways, um, people laugh. No, not people, but some people laugh at it and they, they don't take it seriously. Look at Arsenal. Now, look at what Arsenal have had. They've had, the, it appears they're on the right track. They had a plan. They, after Emery left, they're like, oh shit, we fucked up here. We need to get this right. Cool. Let's get a sporting director. Got Edu in. Um, let's get uh, let's get Edu. What do you think? Speak with the board, okay? Arteta, this is the manager we want. For man- got the manager in, he worked his miracles into the season. They've identified the players they need to buy, that they've identified the 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 the, the, uh, the age, the the the, the uh, what's the word, the profile, profile. of the players profile. they need, the profile of players they need. They've identified this, they've got this with a good coach. Work with the profile of players, work in hand with the sporting director. Oh. That's a footballing plan. They're not, and it's not just they're not looking at one year, they're not looking at two years, they're looking at like a five year, a long term, five, six, seven years, ten years from now. Where is that with my United? Where is where the, the, the Mr. Woodward? What are you doing? You, you're you getting wherever you want there. Oli wasn't you, it wasn't your it wasn't your plan A, it was never your plan A. You got him well, there, you did the job. You, you're not going to back him with the player he wants, so why, why don't you go and get someone? 
that will be able to work with Ali to get him his vision or to implement his vision? Or mm. what is the vision of football that the Man United board wants? And that's where we're lacking. And I've said this, we've lost time. We, we had the Champions League football that should be a blessing to us. Look like it's going to be a big curse on us. It's going oh. to be a massive thing for us. It should have been a blessing, uh, but it's going to, it's going to, we're going to be decimated for us. Uh, I, I, I agree with you. I, that one, I, that I, I agree with you. I'm even thinking, are we even going to get third? I'm, I know that. Yeah. T- what was that? T- is it a Turkish team? I don't even know who it was. Yeah, but, yeah. But, but uh, we're, we're lucky there's not going to be no fans in Turkey, boy. Because I'm telling you. Yeah, that's, that's, host, that's, host, that's hostile. And this is what I'm saying last season. That whole finishing third with 66 points is unacceptable. I'm sorry. Oh. I'm sorry. But I do think, for me, why, why are we taking so long with these transfers? We knew... You know, we got third, then we build. So why are we doing these last minute dot com signings? Like, so clearly that means Cavani. Cavani was not the plan. If he was no. the plan, we would have got him ages ago. Well, this according whole... to certain, according to certain people, he was in negotiations with, with different beforehand. Like, you know, for for me, it, it just doesn't make any sense because obviously we we've had ample time. We've had an interruption to a season. You know, you, you know, we we we've restarted the season. You know, we we've had the time where the window we we've got we secured third. We've got Champions League football. Cool. That's what I'm saying. Set your stall up. You know, get the players that you need. You know, to 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 take us to the next level. But we've we've waited until the last hour to get players in. Certain players haven't had pre-season. What what's Cavani? Yeah. What's Cavani been doing for? Well, I don't know. What, what what's he been doing? Six well, months. I've seen on, I've seen on his <laughs> Instagram. I've seen on his Instagram. He's been he's been. Doing that, some work, fit, yeah, gym work, yeah. Mm. But, he, but but is he is he is he, is he match fit? Alex tells him mm. he's playing with Porto. You know, if we if we if he was on the list, why didn't we try and go for him before the season started? If he was on the list, if he was on the list, because I'm sure Solskjaer didn't go to the board and say, look, this is this is this this is the player who I want, right? Mm. I want Alex tells, yeah, just after the season starts. I want Cavani just after the season starts. You know what I'm saying? He would have gone to the board and said that. No, no, but, he didn't. He didn't. He, he, and this is what I mean, bro. It's, it's, it's just, yeah. It's, there's no football he plan in it. I think that's it, where, 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 there's, where there's a lack of vision. Everyone, there's everything is just on, in in darkness. I'm sorry to say, yeah, that's the best way. If there's no vision, everything's done in darkness. So you're, you're, what the left hand is doing, the right hand doesn't know what the left hand is doing. So that, that, the, that, that, the left hand is reaching out for the for the fork or something. <laughs> this one's reaching out for the knife. I mean, obviously, I'm speaking fig, a figure of speech, but like you know, what no, I mean, it's, it's like there is no there is no vision. This is what I mean. If you look at the best clubs and and let's look at our peers, in it, uh, uh, Liverpool, oh, gosh, Man City, man. Arsenal now. Even Tottenham, it looks like Tottenham. With uh, Mourinho spoke to Levy, they've identified the players that they want or the kind of players they want. They know the situation, what they can, what they cannot do. Everton, it, and look, look what's been done with them. Let's start. It's, it's, I, can, I can go on and go on. Our peers are. We, we've been left behind. We have been left behind, and it needs to change. If there is no change that comes from the board, if there's no change that comes from the top. This cycle will keep repeating itself. I don't care if you went and got, I'm sorry to say, I don't care if you went and got flipping Pep. Even Pep wouldn't work it. Klopp wouldn't be able to work with this because it is, there is a lack of vision. And oh. it's, it, it, I feel like this is going to be some lack, dark lack, years for us, you know. Lack, 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 of, lack, of, lack of, I'll tell you what, there's lack of footballing people upstairs. Upstairs. Because, upstairs. because for me, let's be honest here, bro. There's no way. You're gonna appoint a guy from Mold to Cardiff to Manchester United. That's that's that, is, that, 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 is, that, that, that that is unacceptable. Regardless of whether he's done a good job for Man United, yeah. you've got to take that emotion aside. There's a lot of foot billion people. Hundred percent. Like, because I, I keep on saying, I keep on saying, look, listen, I love Social and he's he's a hundred percent. But listen, like, and um, everything that I say about him is nothing personal. It's just that I want yeah. to do it like like he does. <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying? But he's just not good enough because what I was saying to because I even went to the pub to watch the game because I thought, yeah, big game. Do you know what I mean? Big screen. Um, and I was like, when we went, I think four one down. I was saying to people, if Social was to get sacked, right? Which club in the Premier League, yeah, would want to appoint him apart from Fulham? I don't even think Fulham, mate. I don't think even get a League One club. I'm not even trying to be funny. Apart from I don't Fulham. think League One club. Who who, 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 would, who would be saying that I need to go and get Solskjaer? 
West Brom, they've even got Slavan Bilic, and he obviously he's got he's got a resume. He's got a resume. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm. Even though obviously yeah. he's had he's had a few bad times at, at West Ham, yeah. but he's got a yeah. resume. Yeah. You know what I mean? I, yeah, I can't see any other club in the Premier League that says, yeah. 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 No, so you're not, and, you're not, and this is the thing and the funny thing about it is this is no secret to us this is no secret to any of us we can all see this it's it's just I, I, I think for me it's beginning to look more and more likely that I think he's a comfortable option this looks like a marriage of comfortability you know? yes. it looks like he's a comfortable option for, mm-hmm. for the board, then it's just like, ah, you know, he's not going to cause as much trouble. You know, let's see, let's see how he goes, you know, whatever. They don't, they, they, they're happy with him to stay there because for them, as long as we get Champions League football uh, and some money's coming in, we're good. But uh, he's not gonna uh, pull them out, I, I think there was two options, right? Either we brought Oli in, which we have, right? We oh. have to bring with an excellent coach with him, like with a name in football, oh. or we get rid of him and get someone else. That's my opinion. Because the McKenna, McKenna feeling, who's the other one? Carrot. Come on. Come on. That's Let's what I'm saying. And the thing is, you see, you see, you see Sir Alex, yeah? um, Sir Alex, like, he wasn't the greatest coach, you know. Like, obviously, no. as a manager, he was great. But he always had, he had always had coaches that helped him through. Like, was it um, uh, Steve McLaren? Kiros. Kiros. Um, it, it was it Brian? Yeah, Carlos Kiros. Kiros, 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 Kiros. Do you know what I mean? So he had coaches there. Do you know what I mean? To, 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 to help. You know he's 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 methods. Solskjaer, yeah. he's got what what McKenna and Carrick. And, and what does Feeling do then? If that's the case, because I don't know, bro. That, but then again, that looks like a Fielen, throwback, bro. That's what Feeling was assistant as well. Time, time was has moved on. Time, and Feeling's not working with the same players that he was working with before. He was working with winners. Now he's working with like multiple additions. Like when did Feeling come into into the frame? Like last season, right? Yeah. When Oli got, yeah, got the job, yeah. Look, 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 look at how many of those players, yeah, that were there when he was there with Sir Alex Ferguson. The the hair, the hair, and Joan Smolin, is it probably? That that's yeah. what, Ashley Young. Ashley Young, Young gone and now. Did. He's gone. So, <laughs> You know, but, <laughs> you know, I was going to say, uh, and the funny thing is, it's, been, it's beginning to look more and more like it's my night because I, I watch a lot of it. You know me, I love football in it. So I, I see a lot of Serie R in it and I see the highlights. And I'm mm-hmm. telling you, Alexis Sanchez, Lukaku, and Ashley Young are looking like they're looking reborn, fam. I'm not lying to you. I'm not exaggerating, bro. They, 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 look, they look like they're happy to be out of Manchester. That's, that's what I can say. Yeah, that, that's the biggest thing I can say. And that, that tells, that says all I need to know about. What's going on and what's being how the club's being run, and I think the players can tell this as well. So this is this is some troubling times ahead, bro. Troubling times, bro. But you know what's interesting Trouble. though? Yeah. Why is it why we buy players? Why is why does the players look worse when they wear our red jersey, but then when they go play for somewhere else, they look like world beaters? I don't understand. What is it? Is the jersey too heavy, or is the lack of coaching? Or is it the fans or what, or what there's is no it? Stru- there's like, no structure at our club, bro. There's, there's no, st- yeah, he's here. Yeah, he's hitting on the head. There's, no, like, you know, there's no structure at our club, man, because these players are not bad players. They, they cost a lot of money for, for a certain reason. For a reason. So, yeah, when they leave, obviously, they seem to do well. Look like, you know, look at Di Maria. He's thriving. Lukaku is thriving. Herrera looks comfortable. Do you know what I'm saying? A lot of these players, they leave the club and they do well. But, you know, I mean, I, I don't know what it, 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 it just baffles me, yeah. Because I remember there was... You know that time Roy Keane and Carragher was arguing at Liverpool game, yeah? Mm, mm. Carragher made perfect sense, yeah? Every player we bought. They're not bad players, though. Like, mm. Di Maria's not a bad player. Who else? Schweinsteiger is not a bad player. Like, we can go through the list. So we made, we, look, look, look how we damaged Schneider, then. I remember there was that game against, South, uh, against Southampton where they won 1-0. And Schneider was the man of match. Yeah, he's the man of the match again. He ran the midfield. We brought him yeah. to Manchester United. And we made him a worse player. Now, now look at him. I think he's in France now. Yeah, he's in France. He's yeah. in France. And, 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 he made, and he made Memphis look like a worse player. And he yeah, went to Memphis. the Phantom Joy, and he 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 was playing. And I think, and for me, this, this this says to me now that when it comes to that Sancho that we've been after for thing. Sancho, would Sancho really, really want to come after seeing this? <laughs> would he really want to come when he could, when there's a chance of a better? If I was him, I'm thinking, bro, let me just chill here for another year. Next year, Real Madrid might be there, Barca might be That's there. What I might work. But why would I, why am I going to limit myself by coming for the money when I'm seeing my peers that are there and they, they don't look like they're getting any better? Don't, this players definitely talk, they definitely talk. 
It's not maybe because maybe, maybe, maybe because Dave and, and Harry Panero keep on telling him that this needs to come at United, but maybe no, this is beef. Yeah, this bro. I don't think it's money's good too. I mean, he's he's a millionaire already. He's he's, he's but, already going to be man. rich. But bro, he, he, I'm pretty sure Sancho wants to win. I'm pretty sure Sancho wants to get his medals. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, it's obviously because I'm, I'm gonna have to try cut this short anyway. But, so, yeah. so yeah, yeah, bro. Nah, it's cool. It's cool. Forever, it's cool. Bro. It's cool. <laughs> but yeah, now fi- final final thoughts from from the both of you, Ems. I'll start with you, bro. Yeah, I'll let Ems go. <laughs> I think this this chance of policy. Yeah, I don't want this whole. Oh, the club, the other club says eighty million. We should pay eighty million. Sometimes you just got to walk away and say, you know what? Let's go get somebody else, man. Do you know what I mean? We can't just bow down to all these clubs. We're a super club. We're superpowers of world football. We shouldn't be bowing down to no club, but that's just me. Uh, for me, it's a thing where I feel like, again, I'll say this, I feel like there's a lack of vision of my United. There's no football in plan. And as such, you can see the effects of that leaking through to the pitch. Um, in regards to his transfer targets, they don't get the transfer targets, but it appears that there's no plan B. There's no plan C. It appears that they, they, they ain't, and they're not good negotiators. They, they, it's just terrible, and it is terrible. The recruitment is terrible. The culture of the club is terrible. The plan is terrible. The coaching is terrible. Yeah. And I don't want to sound all doom and gloom. I mean, we got beat six one, but the way the way we ended last season, from the Europa League to to now, it looks like we're getting worse in it. And it's worrying times I had for all my United fans. So yeah, that's that's all I've got to say. But this Cavani and Telus. They ain't gonna fix no. They're not gonna fix anything. Yeah, definitely. We need. We need to. Oh, I don't know, man. We need to try and move on from this defeat. But I don't know how. You know, uh, I'd like long to two weeks ahead. Right? Yeah, it's a long two weeks. Obviously, we've got the international break. I mean, uh, uh, yeah. But I. Yeah, we just got to you know, smoke the L. Give us some strong. The L. Yeah, <laughs> man, and just yeah, call it uh, a day today. Yeah, what were you gonna say, Ems? I just feel like I'm getting flashbacks from last season, like where we we, we can't we we can't score more than one goal, or the, if the te- other team scores, we just can't win, blood. So, I'm just well, it's just penalty, it's, it's it's, it's penalty counter attack vibes. I mean, inshallah, that's what it is. Yeah, that's, that's, <laughs> that's, that's, that's what it is. That's what it is. Passing with Bruno. Yeah, that's it. Uh, Ems, uh, where, where can when they where can they find you, man? On your full summer, like, where can they find you on your socials? M's, I'm talking to you. Yeah, yeah, I'm oh, talking sorry, to you. Sorry, yeah, yeah, sorry, yeah, but, sorry, yeah, where can they find you? Yeah, M's Doms. M's Doms. M's Doms, yeah? Well, on Insta. Yeah, M's Doms. M's Doms to our Insta, M's.W.Doms. On Insta. And for me, you can find me at Just Sems. I'm glad I'm not a Twitter person now. I'm just at Instagram. It's Just Sems in it, so, That's yeah. It. <laughs> That's fine, uh, man. You, man, thanks for joining me, man. I'm Shingy. Oh, you know what I mean, make sure you follow me on Instagram and Twitter, Shingy underscore LD. And make sure you follow the channel YKTS Football on Twitter and Instagram as well. Make sure you subscribe. It takes two seconds. That's all you need. Just hit that subscribe button. Make sure you like. Leave your comments below as well because, you know, we'd like to know what you, my United fans, think about today's embarrassment. Thankfully, Liverpool said you'll never walk alone. <laughs> and <didn't laughs> walk alone. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, you know, they went one better than us, but yeah, so, <laughs> it, it kind of stopped them to blow um, going into the international break. But, boy, man, um, I'm about to light one and, and call it a night. <laughs> it's like, I'm with you on that, bro. I'm with you on that, bro. Nah, man, thanks a lot, man. Nah, it's been a pleasure. It's been a pleasure. Bro. Oh, man. Man. Sweet. Always, man. You guys take it easy, man. Ah, take it easy, man. Thanks, right. man. Right.